But my subject tonight is going to be manifesting God's promises. Again, manifesting God's promise. And my subtext is going to be is but H O W. How are God promised manifesting? I want you to listen, listen very closely. Because we're going to do something a little bit different tonight. If y'all can believe and receive the promise, we're going to pray for the sick. I got a very special request that I've been asked to do. Now, I'm afraid about it. I know it's in God's will. And if y'all can listen and build up faith, we're going to do it. Amen. Amen. Let me say it again now. If y'all can listen, and build the faith we're going to do. You know, the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now, y'all have had y'all physical food or your natural food, your food. We're going to get some spiritual food, and we're going to pray and believe that God going to manifest himself tonight. And manifest means to come in plain view. Let me say it again. To come in plain view. Not for all. Amen. But in plain view. Whether you witness it in you or whether you're able to see it with your natural eye. Not spiritual eye. With your natural eye. Amen. Okay? Y'all read it? Y'all got 7 Corinthians 4 7? Let's get started. Read. 4 7? 4 7. But we have this treasure in earth, earth and vessels. I want you to hold that down. I want y'all to get that in. You know what he said? But we, he talked about the saints of God, the believers. But we have this treasure. Go ahead, brother. In earthly vessels. Oh, in, earth, in earthly vessels. You're not in the spirit of this vessel. Bless! Earthly vessels. Go ahead. That the excellency of the power. Can y'all can y'all address that? It went up high then. Did you hear first word? The excellent of the power. Now let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something here now. The excellent of power cannot come from one place. Uh-oh, we walk now, ain't we? The excellent of power cannot come from Benny. It cannot come from Pastor Eddie. The excellent of the power. This comes from God. Amen. Now, come on, read right. May be of God and not of us. That's confirmed. We are troubled on every side. That's good. Full self. Just full self. Oh, that's all you want? That's all I want. Full self. Now, the first thing I want, I want us to look at, children of God, is the treasure in an earthly vessel. And we just said that will go. Now, what is that treasure, children of God? You want me to tell me that treasure? What is that treasure of absolute power of God? What is it? Jesus. Right. But here you go. Are you ready? W-O-R-E-D. Word. Word. Amen. Treasure. Faith come by hearing and hearing the Word. In the beginning was the Word, the Word with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. I said if I could get y'all faith, then we're going to pray tonight. Amen. Okay. All right. God in his word. Let me ask you a question here. Do you believe God keep his word? Yeah. 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 Now let me tell you something here. Every word of God is a seed. Do you know that? Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something now. Every word of God is a seed. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you a scenario, but this is a true scenario. A true scenario. We're going to talk about an orange tree here. That I get my point. I want you to listen attentively. Because I'm going to bring it right back to the believers. Okay? I'm going to talk about an orange tree. Children of God, do you know every orange is in that little seed a plant, a bush, 
is in that bush every orange. Let me tell you what you got to do. Every <coughs> orange is in that bush from a little seed. You put that little seed in the ground and it break forth. Probably about one inch tall. You set it out. And do you know again, every orange that you would pick off that tree is in it right then. Let me see it. Let me say it again. <coughs> that little bush you put in, every orange is in that tree then. Amen. Are y'all getting it? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm catching it. Every orange is in that tree. Then. Certainly it is. If it isn't, then what does it come from? That's right. Is it magic? Okay. Okay. Now, that little tree is just like you. As a Christian, as a believer. Amen. That little tree is just like you and me. That little tree. You want Bible proof? Give me Psalms 1, verses 1, 2, 3. Let us read it. That orange tree, everything was in that orange tree. And a little, a little seed when you plant it in the ground. It's just like you and I, children of God. I'm going to give you some Bible proof. Psalms 1, 1, two, one through 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Mm -hmm. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the law of the Lord. Go ahead. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he should be like a tree. Oh! Oh, Lord, I know you come. Come read. I get excited with that word in me. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get excited with that word in me. Read it again. Real slow. What's time I get this now? I'm reading the Bible. Listen. He shall be like a tree. He shall be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of water. Oh, I won't, I won't, I won't stop it. But I, 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 want, to, I want to drop some on y'all tonight. Planted by the rivers of water. What do the rivers of water do? Mm. Nourish. Nourish. Good word. Bring forth life. Bring forth life. I want y'all to keep that one, but we're going to need that one. Bring forth life. That's what rivers of water do. It brings forth life. Okay? Are you through? Did you get it through? Nope. Okay, go ahead and look at them up. One through three. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. In his season. In his time. You know, we talked about time last week. When, when is time? We said it. N-O-W. <laughs> we said last week. Time is now. Amen. Once you start to believe, you start to receive. Amen. Amen. I said time is now. Once you start to believe, you start to receive. Brother said, talking about the fruit is in its season. It takes 27 years for an olive tree to, mm -hmm. to, to make fruit. And God has a season for man the same way. It took me 35 years to come to save knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. But that was my season to start bearing fruit. Amen. Amen. It, I was a tree planted, didn't know it. Didn't know it. And God was nourishing me. Even in my sin, He was taking care of me. And when I accepted Amen. Jesus Christ and His Lord and Savior, I became a tree of fruit. Amen. 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 That's what we all are now. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord. Did we get through? I'm getting you, brother. I'm catching you. God, I, mean, I feel. I, I tell you what. You know what I feel? I feel a manifestation of the Spirit of Christ. If we can believe it and receive it, that's all it takes. It's simple. It's just believing what God say and receiving it. Right. Now, you got to hear and receive it. That's right. That's right. So why ain't you shout? I want to get it in you. Amen. I want to get it in you. Somebody got it in me. Amen. <laughs> I had to listen. Amen. And believe. That's right. And once you believe, and once the Spirit of God came in, there's nothing like it. That's right. Excellent power. He said, Excellent. Amen. 
Praise God. Go ahead, brother. One more. We gotta get on that. Woo! Woo! I feel good. I gotta be happy. Y'all gotta be happy. Go ahead, brother. I don't know, man. Did we get through? No. Okay, go ahead. Three verses. His leaf also shall not wither. Shall not wither. Oh. Then I'll read that on wither. Go ahead. I ain't gonna talk. Go ahead. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Woo! <laughs> no more hurt. No more pain. No more sickness. No more sickness. Amen. No more hurt. It shall prosper. Yes. According to the will of God. Amen. According to the will of God. This God word. Now we ain't God word. Now we we the word. Now this is what God said. Thus said the Lord. See, they want to take this thing into physical. They want to talk about monetary. Right. This ain't all about monetary. Yeah, that's right. This is about he's going to prosper in the spirit. He's going to prosper. This is where, yeah, that's where your prosperity is at. It's good to have money. Right. It's good to have a car. It's good to have a house. It's good to have all that stuff. But it don't mean nothing because it's all going to burn up one day. And then you're going to be either left naked or you're going to be a rich man in heaven. One or the other. Yeah. I'm going, brother. Yeah. No. What counts is everything you do for God. Amen. Are we getting there? Did we we're get getting there? Amen. Yeah, we got there. We're okay. Getting. Listen to me real close now. After you accept Christ oh. in the little baby form, then we are planted together in Christ. Let me say it again. I want to be close. Amen. After you accept. Now, no more you now. That's right. There's no more That's right. Paul said that. You remember? Y'all just go. There's no I but Christ within me. That's right. After you accept Christ in a little baby form, just like that, just like that little seed, an orange tree. After you accept Christ in a little bit of form, then we are planted together in Christ. Give me 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Let's look at it now. First Corinthians 12, chapter 12, verse 13. For by one spirit mm -hmm. are we all baptized into one body. Mm -hmm. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Into one body. Mm -hmm. Whether we be bond or free. Mm -hmm. Right. And have been all made to drink oh. into one spirit. Did you wait? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did y'all did, 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 did hear that in? I want you to go back to the part B and start a drink. And by and we're all made to what? Drink. To drink, drink. into one, one spirit. Amen. Do y'all know what that spirit is? Yes, sir. The spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. That's, right. that's, what, happened. that's what happened to us this the week. The spirit we have to drink. That's right. <laughs> all baptized. I don't care what you call yourself. As long as you're not a Jesus Christ the Lord, Amen. you call yourself anything you want to. But you're not going to get nothing until you drink from this fountain. That's right. The fountain of Jesus Christ. Y'all better hear me. Jesus said, of this water, you'll thirst. But if you take of the water that I give you, you never yeah. thirst again. Praise God. Woo. Let us look now. All right. This little tree, let's 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 let I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna feed it up a little bit because again, I want to be your faith that we're gonna pray tonight. Three, four, 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 three. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Oh, wow. you see, you're not gonna get it. You're not thirsty, boy. That's right, right. And floods upon the dry ground. Okay, on the dry. You know, dry ground. No yes. life. That's right. That's exactly right. And why you ain't got no life? You ain't got no spirit. You ain't That's got right. no water yeah. going in. That's right. Right. <laughs> I will pour my spirit upon thy seed mm -hmm. and my blessing upon thine offspring. I will pour my seed. Read that again, brother. And that. I will pour my blessing on the offspring. Pour my spirit. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll pour my spirit upon thy seed. On that seed. And my blessing upon thine offspring. And, and a little bit later on, I can tell you from the beginning, when I already said it, we're going to show you what the seed is. Amen. Well, just, yeah, I got it on you. Don't get that. All right. 
Okay. All right. Now, when this little when and when this little plant, this tree, orange tree, when it drink is a lot of portion what it does, it got to drink more than that. It just keep drinking and drinking and drinking. Guess what we got to do? Same thing. Reading and reading and reading. You know what I said? If I can't believe it. That's right. If I can't believe it, the Bible says if I can't believe it, all things are possible Amen. for them to believe. Believe what, Benny? Uh, believe the Word of God. Word. And guess what happened to believe the Word of God? Through faith. That fountain. That's right. Flow living. That oh. living fountain. Mm -hmm. Once we keep praying. I want y'all to get this. Because this thing is putting me up. <laughs> Woo! My God, my God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. All right. We got to move. Okay. It's all the time drinking to push out the leaves in this bud, to push out the fruit each year. The fruit is not in the ground. The fruit is in the plant. We said that. It's not in the ground. It's in the plant. Okay? How many understand that? Say amen. Amen. Oh, we're going to have a good time then. All right, you understand that? And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The fruit keep drinking. Drinking. From his fountain. This is the orange tree we're talking about now. They keep drinking, drinking from his fountain. And as the rain comes down, giving the plant life to drink from, as it has a drink, it grows. And it's growing up. Amen. Until it comes to full growth. Amen. Let me tell you, children of God, and people of God, you're going to come to full maturity in Christ. Amen. 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 To you know, I said something last week about an anointing. You cannot leave planet Earth without the Spirit of God. Right, you can't leave it. Everybody said, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. If you ain't got the living water of Christ in you, I can't see you leaving. Right. I can't see you leaving. That's why he designed this. You hear me? He designed this. Amen. Now, just like that flower. Just like an orange tree got to come to board, so do you, church. You got to man. I mean, you just don't come to church and just go, oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh wait a oh, oh, uh -oh. oh, I ain't come here to pick at y'all. I love y'all. You just don't come to church to sit around oh, and do nothing. That's right. Come on, brother. Come on, preach now. There's a watermelon every now and then. No! Guess what they're coming me up here for? I'm going to care. But guess what they wanted me to do? Present the word of God. Amen. Doc right. did it for, uh, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Present the word of God. Amen. This is where life comes from. Amen. Life is in the word of God. Amen. Life is in the word of God. Amen. But let me warn you something here. Now I'm going to say something. Are y'all ready? Amen. But if you refuse this mm -hmm. to drink this water, just like if that plant refused to drink, it cannot grow. That's right. That's right. Now, brothers and sisters, if you refuse to take in this word, you're not going to grow. Amen. That's right. Now, we talked about two scenarios last week. We're talking about Christ <coughs> and we're talking about Satan. Yeah. Now, there's also flesh and spirit. Okay. Now, if you don't drink this word of God, you're going to stay in the flesh. And we said what flesh was last week. Y'all remember? We said flesh is sin. That's yeah. right. See? You know, Jesus said that a tree, a tree will grow, but if it don't put, put forth any fruit, it's not worth anything. That's right. He said to pull it up by the roots and burn it, burn it, because it's just wasting time. Well, let me let me tell you what we're talking about again. We're talking about the manifesting from manifesting from and my sub table was high. Yeah. Are y'all getting? Yeah. You see how? You see how? <laughs> Keep drinking for the promise. Amen. Now we're gonna tell you what promise is in a minute. I'm getting that. But let me tell you something good. Are y'all ready? If you drink from this promise of God, everything that you have need of is in you. Oh. 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 I want y'all to get this one. I got some Bible. I got some Bible. I can't speak 
everything work. Y'all hear me? Everything that you have need of is in you when you receive. Remember when we talked about believing and receiving? When you receive Christ. Come on, man. Because Christ is in you. There you go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's right. Everything you have need of is in you when you receive Christ because Christ is in you. Give me Colossians 1, 26 and 27. 126, I'll be a good man. I might jump up. Y'all ain't getting mad if I jump up. Oh, I feel something here. We got them chandeliers in there. Woo! My, my, my. Everything you have need of. Colossians 1, 26 and 27. We're there. I want somebody to read. Even the mystery which has been hid. Y'all heard that? The mystery. So somebody ain't seen this. Right. Somebody's not seen it. They said it's been here. Even the mystery. Go ahead, bro. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages. But the ages. Yeah. And it's still here for some now. And from generations. And from generations. But now it's made manifest to Oh! Uh, now it came into play in view. Woo. Now it didn't appear. Amen. Y'all get it? Go ahead. Woo, to like whom it. God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. And you know, you know who the Gentiles are? Hey, I am. We are. I'm his. We are. We are. The mystery to us. You hear me? Amen. The mystery to us. He's not, he not talking about the Jews or the Israelites now. He's talking about the Gentiles. That's what the Jews were doing. That's right. He said because they were stiff-necked and unwilling to listen. That's what the Jews were doing. That's right. Now look at the grace of God. That's right. Now look at the grace of God. He said because you're a stiff-necked people, unwilling to listen people, he said I'm going to graft in the Gentiles. Let me say it again. I know y'all don't like that. Everything, I want to say it, I want to try to get this. It's in, uh, Everything that you have need of is in you when you receive I'll Christ. Right, sure. Brother, that's what we give. That's really I, I don't know where we're at now. Well, 27, 27. <laughs> All right, here. okay. Uh, even the mystery which has been hidden from ages from, from, and from generations, but now it's made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. Woo! That's the mystery. That's the mystery. That's the miracle. Mm -hmm. The hope of glory. The hope of Christ in you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Christ in you. The perfect spirit. Amen. In you. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, that's yeah. when we get confused, man. They think they, they think that sin is in us, but sin can't be in us because Christ is in us. And if Christ is in Not us, sin has to flee from where Christ right. is at because yeah. Christ has already defeated sin. No, well, it's no, no, no. our outer man that's a sin that sins. It ain't the inner man. The inner, the inner man's been perfected, brother. The inner man's been made perfect through the Holy Spirit of God. The inner man is of Christ Jesus, and if Christ Jesus be in us, we've been per perfected in front of the eyes of our Lord Jesus and God. Amen. Amen. Are y'all ready for this now? Woo. Come on, man. Are y'all ready for this? Let me tell you what you got to do to get Christ in you. And you just have to drink his word. Amen. And guess what? His word is life. Mm -hmm. And it push out. Mm -hmm. I believe him, now listen to me. I believe him to be the water that come up upon us. I got Bible for that. Okay, come on. John, St. John, John. 4.14. I want to read that couple. I want y'all to get I want y'all to give me a holler. I want y'all to get the word in We're going to pray tonight. Amen. And we're going to believe for the manifestation of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Jesus. This, let me tell you, I said something. I said a big word. I said he's the inexhaustible fountain of life. Do you know what that means? You cannot exhaust God. Some people come with a doctrine and say, you are not the bad God. Oh, don't, you might bring me something. You are not the bad God. My Bible says he's the inexhaustible fountain of life. You can't exhaust it. That's right. You can't wipe it all out. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Y'all heard that you can't. If you beg God, you ain't got no faith. That Bible is that. 
No. I, I'm telling you to not according to God's word, and I got some Bible for it. I'm going to give it to you just, just a second. You cannot exalt God. He is the yeah. inexhaustible fountain. Amen. And as long as you want to drink, guess what? From the Father's light, Amen. This sounds familiar. you go to drink. <laughs> as long as you want to drink from the Father's light, you go to drink. And Amen. guess what they're going to put in it? They're going to put the life of Christ in it. Amen. Amen. You're going to become Amen. more like him. Amen. 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 You're going to become more like him. You're going to take on the nature of God. That's right. Amen. Uh, That's what we want. And guess what? Every time on flu would come, guess what? The word going to rise up. That's right. Uh, he going to say, it's mine. He can't stay there. You hear me? I said, flu food. I know what I said. <laughs> That's why we drink it. Give me some of Give me some Let's do 30. 13 first. Hmm? Let's do 13 and 14. Go ahead, brother. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. Mm -hmm. But whosoever You see the scenario. If you keep drinking natural water, you're going to thirst again. Go ahead. But whosoever drinketh of that, the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Yeah. You're not going to never thirst. That's the reason for that. But the water. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Hold it. You know the reason you ain't going to thirst? Because that's the war of life. Amen. Did, did, I, did we not just say water brings forth life? That's why the river flowing. Amen. That's why the orange tree came up. It kept putting water on it and it kept running out. The war of life. That's why I'm jumping around here. That's why I keep pulling a fence. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> so, so I'm 36 now. <laughs> But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing up into everlasting life. You see what I'm taking? You see what I'm taking? Huh? Yeah. Do y'all know the everlasting life is? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I got a doctor there, though. No dying. That's right. That's why you're not dying. Because Christ gives you life. Christ is life. Okay, give me 36 now. I'm still waiting on that. Psalm 36 now. We're talking about the of the fountain. I want, I want to make sure y'all get that picture of the Innocence of the fountain. Yes. But with thee is the fountain of life. Woo! You see? With, with thee, with Jesus, with thee is the fountain of life. Here it comes. Here comes something. I want y'all to hear this. And in thy life shall we see life. In thy word. Amen. Mm -hmm. In thy word. Shall we see light? Once we believe it. That's right. Once we receive it, we shall see light. That's right. Why? Because Jesus is dying us. Amen. Amen. Then I say I'm the light of the world. He that believe in me shall not walk in darkness. Says he's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my life. Inexhaustible power. Amen. Inexhaustible power. Mm -hmm. You know what, people? I'm a to smoke for a minute. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going to smoke for a minute because I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Do you know what? We just don't thirst enough sometimes. There you go. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, God. We you just go. don't thirst enough. That's right. We don't thirst enough. But guess what the Beatitude says? Listen, very cool. Guess what the Beatitude says? Matthew five, five six. <laughs> Matthew five six. The beatitude. Blessed are they. That's the B right there. Bless. Blessed you are blessed. <coughs> Blessed are they. Come on. Blessed are they which do hunger and Woo. thirst after righteousness. Amen. Well, or they shall be fed. Just mm -hmm. like when you're thirsty and hungry for food, you go eat. But if you're hungry and thirsty for righteousness, you shall be filled. Amen. Amen. Know why? God knows your heart. Amen. Amen. I said, if you're hungry and thirsty for righteousness, you shall be filled. That's right. Amen. And remember, we just don't thirst enough. Mm -hmm. We just don't thirst enough. That's right. Uh, but well, we got time to do everything else. 
Mm-hmm. Watch me now. Forgive me for right here now. <laughs> Some of those ladies like to watch them so far, but we can't get out of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we ain't got no excuse. Some of them like to watch them put it on. You're going to watch the NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them like to work all the time. <laughs> man. Huh? Amen. When those thirst come sometimes, we do not thirst even though. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, listen to this now. Listen to your head close. And the more you drink, the more you can spread out. The more grace you get, the more power you have. Listen, the more faith you have. Amen. As you keep drinking, I want y'all to get this, from Christ, who is the inexhaustible power. That's right. Inexhaustible. Amen. You cannot exhaust. Amen. I like that word. That's right. Just keep drinking. When you go home tonight, get ready to go to bed, drink. When you get up in the morning, drink. Amen. You hear me? You remember we said last week? We all like God to do the same thing. Some of us just praise the Lord. Some of us just sing a song. Some of you can speak like me. Some of us can pray. Different gifts. But just worship God. What we said last week, y'all remember? In spirit, in truth. That's no other way. Now, if you don't drink from in the office of fountain, you're not going to see spirit. Are y'all with me? Yes. We're going on. We're going on. And guess what happens when you keep drinking? The seed form. It will produce just exactly what the seed is. Amen. If the word of God is going to produce the word of God. Oh, amen. 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 If the things of the world, baseball, football, it's going to be the things of the world. That's right. News, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, it's going to produce that. That's right. Whatever seed you plant in, it's going to produce. One of these days, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to talk about the mind. How did I get there? Well, what's right? What's right? No, help me. One of these days. Oh, my God. Let's look at Luke 8, 10, 11. I like this. We, we're getting that now, y'all. Luke 8, 10, 11. Luke chapter <coughs> verse 8, verse 10 and 11. Luke 8, 10 and 11. We're, still, we're talking about the seed now. And he said, Under you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Now come on, mystery. Y'all want y'all to listen. Everybody, when you say mystery, guess what? Everybody don't know. That's right. They've been here. Unto you is given the mystery. Go ahead, brother. But to others in parables. In parables. That means they don't know. That, that They're right. confused. It's apostle. It's apostle to them. They Go ahead. That seeing, they, might, they may not see. Might not see. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And hearing, they might not understand. Mm-hmm. 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 You catch that? <laughs> seeing, they might not see. And hearing, they might not understand. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Now, the parable is this. The parable is, I want y'all to get this. The parable is this. The seed is the word of God. You see what you're playing in now? Amen. Do y'all see, brothers and sisters, what, what we're playing in now? The word of God. Go ahead. Okay. Did we get 10 to 11? Did we get 10 to 11? We, we got we're there. 11, yeah. Okay, we got it? Yeah. All right, are y'all ready? Yep. Listen to this, man. That very seed, that very word of God, brings the promise of God. Amen. Right. You remember what we said? Are oh, y'all ready? Now my subject. How is the manifested promise? That very seed of God brings the promise of God, the very word of God. Now let me cost you something. Y'all don't believe it? Okay, okay, all right. Give me second Peter. Chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. I want to give you the word. I want the word to shout. That's what God told me. That what got me where I'm at. That what got me shouting. You hear me? Thank you, man. We just go to the Bible tell them, but we, we just sat down. It's just word, word, word. And we've seen many of things happen. The manifestation of God. Second Peter. Second Peter. Chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. <clears throat> According to the 
according as his, as his divine power. Oh, we, I'm going to take my time on this because I want y'all to get this. We, 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 he said another word. He said divine. We're going to get back to that. Amen. Amen. According, oh, go ahead, brother. According to his divine power hath given us unto us all things that pertain unto life. That's one. Oh, he has given us according to his divine power. We don't, I want y'all to keep the in your head. He has given us all things pertaining to what? Life. Life. And godliness. Oh, and godliness. Did, y did anybody hear a, a mention? Did anybody hear a Kelly? Like? Did anybody hear a million dollars? Mm -hmm. Somebody's whole. Well, somebody crosses them up there. <laughs> it ain't the Bible. I said somebody crosses them up. That's right. God give us all things to attain to life and godliness. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. And virtue. Go ahead, bro. Whereby are given unto us. Woo, I want y'all to get this. Whereby is given to us. Exceedingly, exceeding great and precious promises. Exceedingly great and precious promises. That by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Y'all ready for this? You know what divine nature is? Are oh, y'all ready? Person, person, person of Jesus. The, right. The, I'm going to say a simple word. I want y'all to get it. Watch me. Watch me. The purest of pure. That's right. That's right. Mm. I want y'all to get that. It's his character. It's his demeanor. It's his nature. The it's purity his of pure. That's right. Huh? Do y'all remember what the Bible said? God is holy God. Amen. 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 How pure can you get? He said, I'm holy. How pure can you get? <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? He said, we're going to take on the divine nature of God. That's right. Then we're going to take it on. How do we do it? Keep drinking. He said, I'm holy, so be ye holy. Drinking from the promise. Do y'all know the word of God trying from us? Do y'all know the word of God? I'm telling y'all something. I don't want y'all miss it. How do we get to the purest of purest? The word of God transforms you. That's right. Give me Romans 12, 1 and 2. Well, right quick, though. We, we, we want to get through with this thing. Having escaped, having escaped, escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You see what you escaped? You escaped all the devil game. That's right. The corruption through lust. You're, you're escaping it. Why? You're taking on the very divine nature of God. That's right. right. And Christ is in you. Romans. It's Christ. You're, you know that some of them old people used to say, something on the inside, working on the outside, right. bring about a change in my life. The pure, the pure, working on the inside. It makes you pure. Don't y'all look at me like this. Y'all better get happy. <laughs> Oh, that told me a lot of times. 
You can't be old. Now, when I was a baby in Christ, what I used to mess me up? They don't know. Amen. You know why? Because I'm going to keep drinking from the promise. Amen. I'm going to keep drinking from the promise. Right. Go ahead, brother. We're getting there now. We're on the last page now. Go ahead. Which is your reasonable service. That's your reasonable service to God. Go ahead. And be not conformed to this world. There it is. Be not likened to this world. That's right. Be not likened to this world. Go ahead. But be transformed, transformed by the renewal of your mind. Of your mind. And let me tell you, can't nothing renew your mind but the word of God. Right. Amen. Amen. Do you know in the natural, in order for your mind to be renewed, you got to be a thought? Then do y'all know what a thought is? A thought is a word process. I want y'all to get, I want y'all to miss that. That's revelation. A thought is a word process. You can't change your mind without a word. Oh, oh God, that mercy. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. My God, my God. Children of God, I'm going to go again. What is the promise in the Word of God? I'm just talking about the Word of God. I ain't talking about the promise. I know, you, I know some of y'all were gripping this morning and said, Well, there's an agreement. I ain't talking about that. <laughs> I say the word of God was a promise. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to shout? Are you ready to raise your hand up? Yeah. God saith the Lord. Amen. 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 That's a promise. Dust saith the Lord. Amen. That's a promise. The word of God spoken. That's a promise. Amen. Let me tell y'all something. God promise of faith. Let me tell you what. It's so faithful. Guess what Jesus said. Now I'm going to show you how faithful God's word is. We're getting through now. Guess how faithful it is. Are y'all ready? Ready. Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. There you go. And that's, that's Matthew 24, 35. I'm asking y'all a question now. Do you believe the promise tonight? I do. Amen. I'm talking to the children of God. I'm talking to the believers. Do you believe this promise? Amen. Do you believe it? No one else pass away, but the word won't pass away. Okay? I'm going to tell you something. I want y'all right now, we're getting ready to pray in a few minutes. We're going to get a few scriptures here, then we're going to pray. The Bible says, have faith, I want you to say two things, have faith in God, then it says, have the faith of God. Amen. 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 Have faith in God, and have the faith of God. That's what the Bible says. Okay? All right, now we're going to look at manifest. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping now because the time is getting there. Let's look at the word manifesting. Manifest me because I want y'all to get out. I've been using all night to come into plain view, to appear. Manifest with the, to, to declare. Make manifested form. Let me tell you. Y'all hear it? Anytime the Spirit of Christ is manifested, mean come in plain view or appear. Well, to declare, anytime the spirit, and y'all better get ready to run on this one. Anytime the spirit, oh, God, I feel like, y'all better watch me. I've been jumping over that a minute. Anytime the spirit of Christ is manifest in us, guess what? We become new creatures in Christ. Amen. 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 That's what the Bible says. Right. All things are passed away. Behold, all, all things have been called new. Fly away. Fly away. I'll fly away. <laughs> you can find him. You understand me? You understand me? I'm, I'm in spirit. I'm in you, in spirit. Spirit. I'll be you in. are in the spirit. Are y'all ready? Before we close this down tonight, I'm going to give you a few scriptures. There's another reason why. There's a reason why I said you got to believe to receive. Do you know what? Our Lord Jesus Christ is a healer. That's right. Yeah. Are y'all here? Our Lord Jesus Christ is a healer. It doesn't take but one thing to bring the manifestation of Christ to you. Guess what that is? To believe it. Amen. Mark 9, 23, y'all put it in your head. It said, the doctor can believe it. All things, I quoted that tonight, are possible for them that believe. I want somebody to give me Isaiah. We're going to run through equipment now. I'm going to hold y'all on tonight like I did last week. Y'all I'm sorry. Isaiah 53, 5. We're going to run through a few scriptures. 
You know what? I said last week, I'm going to say it again on the scripture. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. We're going to get for a few witnesses. Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Go ahead. Bruised for our iniquity. Bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Ladies and gentlemen, my sister and brother, do you know what? I want y'all to hear this. I know y'all get thinking. But Christ has already done the work on the cross. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Christ Amen. has already done the work on the cross. Amen. Okay? He done it 2,000 years ago. He was going to fire twice for us. And do you know the devil don't want y'all to know that? That's right. Christ has already paid the price for it. That's right. Huh? All we got to say is by his grace, I'm healed. I believe you, God. Amen. I believe you. Amen. Now, this scripture is for Brother Eddie. He can read it, somebody else can read it. This is for Brother Eddie. Jeremiah 17, 14, verse 14 through 16. This is for Pastor Eddie. A faithful pastor of the church. Seven, you hear me? Seven, 17, tell me, 17, 14 through 16. Heal me, O oh Lord. Heal me, O oh Lord. Listen, why? And I said, listen, if God heal you, guess what? You're going to be healed. Amen. Go ahead, brother. We're going to be well, I ain't going to holler too much. I want to soak in. Save me, and I shall be saved. That's everybody now. Save me, and I'll be saved. Go ahead. For thou art my praise. Thou art my praise. When you praise him, God. When you die, of my praise. This brother has a shepherd heart. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about Pastor Ed now. Right. He has a shepherd heart. Amen. Amen. Many times I've seen him go to the hospital. He prayed for me. I didn't call him a lot. You hear me? I know. He got, why y'all think I'm standing up here now? He got passed on. God got something to do to him. Come on, read. That's what God gave me for him. Come on. We were at, what? 15. 15, okay. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? They say unto me, That's the dying in the naysayer. Let it come now. Let it come right now. Come on. As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor. Hold right there. Don't you stop right there. I haven't stopped doing God what you called me to do. I'm talking to a pastor now. This is for a pastor. I haven't hastened from the call. No matter what it rains. No matter what the sun is shining. No matter what the am no matter what I'm inflicted in the body, I have a hasten. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. You, you, get, you get close. Okay. Being a pastor to follow thee. Woo! I'm being a pastor. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. God, I'm going to follow you being a pastor to follow thee. Go ahead. Neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Are you, are you in? Praise God. Give us Psalm 103. We got one more script there. We're going to go to James 5 next. We got Psalm 103, 1 through 3. Then we're going to James 5. I'm going to ask a brother to go get some more. From this sanctuary. From this church. We got two more scriptures. We're going to go with Psalm 103, 1 through 3. Then we're going to go with James 5, 14. Says, bless the Lord, my soul. I want y'all to notice something here. He said this three times. That's repetition. Do you know what? That's the highest praise you can get God. Amen. The praise of number God. He said it three times. Watch it. Bless the Lord. Go ahead. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Ain't that three? No. One more time. Yeah, it is. Three times. And forget not all his. That's what I want y'all to hear. And forget not all his benefits. Go ahead. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity? We, we talked about a new last last Thursday. Uh huh. Selfishness. Sin. He forgiveth all thy iniquity. Come on. 
who healeth all my diseases. Did y'all hear that? That's that healing gospel time. Right. Did y'all hear that? H E A L. A L L. And what do it require people? To believe. Amen. To believe. That's all it requires. To believe. We receive the word. I mean, we drank it from the fountain. That's praying for builders. We are drinking right now, people of God. Go ahead. And who crowned a crown thee with That's love, good. loving kindness. That's good. We're going to James. We're going to James 5. I asked the brothers to get some more. I'm going to call for the brothers to come up. So we're going to let Brother Ed sit down. We're going over to Brother Ed. But ladies, I'm not going to leave y'all out. If you're young, I'm not going to leave y'all out. I want y'all to be praying in the heart. If anybody else needs a healing touch, y'all be praying in the heart. If you want to lay hands on somebody, you need a healing touch. I want you to be praying. If you want to lay hands on you, we'll do it. This is part of the gospel. Amen. I present you the evidence. Now, I want somebody to give me James 5. This is what I'm going to do. And I want y'all to read 14 and 16. And I'm coming. Because we're going to go and pray. Is any sick among you? Mm -hmm. Let him call for the elders of the church. Mm -hmm. And let them pray over him. Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And it brought me here mm -hmm. to present the word. And I'm standing up here as an elder because I'm presenting the word. And I'm asking the brethren to come along with me. We are in agreement with Pastor Ed because we believe the same truth. Amen. You hear me? I ain't got on the road. I want y'all to know this. Amen. I ain't, but I'm up here to present God's word. Amen. Amen. Okay, go ahead, brother. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. There it is right there. Mm -hmm. That's the key word in the whole thing. The prayer of faith. I don't care who's sick. I, I've been sick today. But guess what? I kept on going. Right. It kept on going. I kept on going. The light really going through. I feel good now. Yeah, I feel yeah. good. That was you to beat it. You threw. You finished. Amen. He already did it in our step. I believe and I receive it. That's right. Read, brother. And the Lord shall raise him up. Oh, not been. And he, right. if he oh. have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Mm, they shall be forgiven. Forget. For, Confess your faults one to another. You see what I'm saying? Now, mm -hmm. now Jared, that's not confessing to a sinner. We're talking about the saints of God. Amen. And pray one for another. Pray one for another. That's what we're going to be doing. That ye may be healed. That's you, man. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. But you can say it already. We, 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 if we go on, he'll talk about Elijah. Stop the rain for three and a half. That's right. Because it's. That's right. Okay. 